Right, so here we go again. There we go. Okay, dog. So I need to zone some areas, don't I? But where do I want to put my industrial? Don't really want to put it next to the water. Hmm. Tell you what. So here we go. I'm gonna just do just a basic grid. Try and line up these. Let's just move it away from the edge. Okay, so. Right, so let's zone a few areas because I'll need jobs. Maybe later on I can change this. But for now, I'm going to keep industrial zone around here is it okay my power is connected there no, shouldn't be our shouldn't be a problem for now but I've got to be aware of power surges or bottlenecks sorry later on okay let's speed this up and the free let's do some oh, the demand for that's pretty big huh? let's do one over there So I've got 100 people. Okay, let's see. While it's running in the background, let's see how they're failing. Unreliable healthcare coverage is the main gripe, but I am not building that there yet. For 100 people, it's just a waste of money. Keep all my budgets as low as possible. Garbage management, I will postpone. Oh, here we go, more green. So, low density. Medium density. Okay, if you want to go there. And there another one there. Just while I sort this out. Right, taxation. So, <laughs> I follow sort of the model that we have at home, where the more you earn, the more tax you have to pay. Obviously it doesn't work that way on this game so I reflect that in the uneducated uneducated to highly educated. Maybe I need to go back to school. Eh? Right and I put that down to three to eight and I don't need money right now but I want to attract people. I'll just put these down to nine for now. Okay, so people are wanting to come in. Let's do a random square. Just while I start, I like to just do the basic basic squares like that. You can choose to do it however you want. You can have it as a wiggly line and, you know, cul-de-sacs. The uh, roundabout tool is very handy for, you know, dead ends. Things like that. Let's uh, show you an example here. I imagine that's the end of a street. It's not ideal sometimes, um, but it's handier when you find a, a correct usage for it. So, as as you can see, because I changed the taxes, yeah, all the people want to move in. Wow, my population's already gone up to nearly 500. So yeah, low taxes, it's just like, just think about how people act in real life. Like people like places where there's low taxes. Politicians get elected on it for goodness sake. You know, people just want lower, low taxes. And your businesses as well make more profit, obviously, if they're taxed less. You can go in there and all this. I don't really bother too much at first. Depends how you like to which aspects of the game, but if you like micromanaging, things like that, it's a good little thing. Apparently, I read that they made it harder 
pretty much as I started. Econ Economy 2.0 or something. As soon as I started playing, but I never really struggled. I failed the first time, but I was literally just building things I didn't need. Just for the sake of it. Whereas, you know, now I'm being conservative with money. Here we go, it's green. That's a good start. I'm raking in some money from there. From these businesses. I say a raking in. Unemployment is at 9% as well. Okay. Obviously, I don't think I get offices for, yeah, at least a couple more levels. So let's leave that. I'll do another one, spare. Buy me. It's all kicking off there. See? <coughs> you just lower taxes and people flood. Wow, 700 now. So as long as you're in the green early on, you're actually good. Offices are great for money. Especially if you can get people interested in coming to the financial one. It's unlocked now, so I can't show you it, but that's it. I'm still sticking with the, just the bog standard name. So I can't think of anything. Whoa! There we go. Let's have a look at this for you. So I'm at milestone two. We've got all this. We've got schools. That's the main important thing. And the next one is about less than 2,000 for me. Oh, more than 2,000. Yeah, maybe I do need to go to school myself. But I'm not going to build one just yet because, what, there's probably only about 10 kids. Yeah, the hundred. So the time will come for that soon. Right, I think these guys actually. So I hate that, like at the start, there isn't <laughs> a good option. I mean, two two million for a hospital. You have to be like raking it in to build one of them. So for now, I'm just gonna put a basic medical clinic. Do I get the small one? I mean, it's twice the price, but it's four times the patient capacity. Well, the upkeep is at least double. There's more ambulances, but I'm going to need it for a while, ah. Because I'm not going to get to a mill anytime soon. Right, I'm going to place it in the middle here. Now, immediately, when you start a new service, go to your budget and kablam. You can put it wherever you want, but I put it to 50 because, look, it's only two bubbles. But the good side of it is that, come on, show me. Unreliable healthcare coverage has gone down from minus 4 to minus 1. And, yeah, you can see the taxes. People like taxes, low taxes. I'm going to build some taller ones. So these are my first tall ones, it seems. Well, I say tall, you know, generic high-rise building. Well, that's going on. Let's let's build more. Cool. Oh, the um, the crematorium. That's another thing they're waiting for, isn't it? I've got nothing against the cemetery, but it's huge. I suppose it does give well-being and some recreation. I mean, who finds recreation in a cemetery? Maybe, I don't know, peace. Get some peace there, or, you know, say goodbye to your loved one, or whatever, but recreation, I don't know, understand that one. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Businesses want to come in, they're welcome. 26th hour. Oh, speaking of that, I have connect. Must push, so that's what, 300 people an hour? That's not bad, is it? See how fast these are filling? 45, 45, 45. So these are filling up pretty fast. 
Oh dear. My first complaints are mainly about hearses. Let's see what I can unlock. Wrong one. Okay. The crematorium. I got three points. Actually, I think it's worth it. Because the crematorium saves a lot of space. Two. Nearly a quarter mil. And end up on. Fundamentally, I need one. So. Place that. Place that there, yeah. I should get them. To not. <coughs> not deal with that. Alright, so starting to take shape. It's pretty basic, but that's all we're working with because obviously I've got all these things unlocked and I'm working with a budget. And I see, you build a cemetery and then all of a sudden you're not making any money. Might turn it off once these have been gathered. Okay, the final thing, let's zone it. So. Surface area. Oh! Huh. It's unlocked. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I will do that then. I guess let's just deal with this demand. Uh, put some of the population there. Speaking of, can I see any, any clusters? Okay, so around here. Yeah, it's cool. Household health wretched. Uh, that's not good, is it? Since I'm getting enough people, I might put the tax back up a teeny bit. Yeah, taxes are still pretty positive. Alright, I think that'll do for now. Thanks for watching.